The Deshaun Watson saga continues, and as the situation unfolds, I can't help but wonder how it's going to impact the rest of the league. Wow, and how much time do we have? Because this is <laughs> this is the story of the NFL season about a guy who probably is not going to take a snap, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, first of all, competitively, and I know this is a, a touchy subject with victims and it's very serious, yeah. the, crime, the crimes that he allegedly committed and has settled. Right. Um, but competitively, from a football standpoint, right now there's six teams going, oh, thank God we have to play Deshaun Watson this year, mm -hmm. and probably more. Right. Uh, because, I mean, let's face it, if you're an NFL team and you see Cleveland Browns on your schedule, do you want to face Deshaun Watson, who led the NFL in passing in 2020, mm -hmm. or Jacoby Brissett? Right who has been a cast off at several teams. Nothing wrong with Jacoby Brissett as a spot starter, mm -hmm. but you know, if there's a game on your schedule, uh, Sean, go ahead and get suspended. Yeah. So from a competitive standpoint, it has a direct effect yeah. on a lots of teams. On win-loss columns. On win-loss column, right. which is, you know, at the end of the day, which is very important to every team. Now, from a player standpoint, mm -hmm. uh, if the NFL gets its way, we think they want to suspend him for the whole year, mm -hmm. uh, which is a long way from six games. If this happens, it's the NFL sending a message mm -hmm. that the arbitrator was not stern enough. Mm -hmm. We're now new and improved, bigger, badder NFL that's not messing around. Uh, it's much of a stern, much more of a stern punishment. Yeah. And I'm not saying there's a bunch of players out there going, I can't wait to go get a massage. Right. But it'll make you think twice. Yeah. If there, if, you're, if there's a, you get a speeding ticket and one week it's a hundred dollars, next week it's a thousand. The next time you enter that road, you're gonna be like, ooh, yeah. a thousand. I better. It just, it makes you think. Yeah. And I'm not saying players are going to become choir boys overnight. Right. But it will send a message that the, the punishment fits the crime. Yeah. Not to mention, I know a lot of NFL athletes are very proud to wear that NFL patch on their uniform. Yeah. And when the NFL, if they can get a longer suspension for Deshaun Watson, there might be a bigger sense of pride in order to wear that NFL patch because you're not a part of an organization that really kind of gave a slap on the wrist for some alleged yeah. really terrible actions. That's kind of how, that's how we got here in the first place, mm -hmm. right? With the NFL, uh, just slap on the wrist for some really uh, some violence mm -hmm. against women, yeah. uh, sexual assaults against women, and three games here and six games here, right. uh, and it just it sent a message, like you said, that the NFL doesn't really care and cherish women. Right. And I do think you're right. Most NFL players would like to be holding to a higher standard. Yeah. yeah. So they can be proud. Yeah.